of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of holy love, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the Franciscan order we celebrate the memorial of Saints Daniel and companion martyrs. They were among the first of Franciscan martyrs. Uh, the first was Saint Berard and his companions, and after their testimony to the faith and death at the hands of the Saracens, their grew up a, a holy rivalry among Franciscans everywhere. And so it was just one year after St. Francis uh, was taken to heaven that these Franciscans set out again to Mar Morocco to preach the gospel. And uh, they weren't there long when, uh, filled with holy zeal, they went out to proclaim salvation in Jesus Christ and were subsequently taken a prisoner put before the king, asked to renounce their faith, and uh, when they refused, they were then tortured and put to death. And this gives us a good uh, opportunity to reflect on, on their action and on its relation to our own living of the Christian life. To, to be a witness to Christ, which is what the word martyr means, takes courage. And it's important that we understand that courage and we understand from where does that courage come? What is, what is the motive or the source of, of that spiritual strength? Of course, uh, courage as a, a spiritual strength, it comes from the Holy Spirit. It's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But just to understand the psychology of it or, or the meaning even of the word itself, I think is... Um, important because we all need to be witnesses to Christ and if we're going to do that we need courage so the first thing to clarify is that courage is not fearlessness oftentimes we use those words synonymously fearless or, or courageous but really courage is often accompanied by fear Real courage is always accompanied by fear. If there wasn't something to fear, what, what courage would it take? But courage is the will or willingness to act despite fear. The willingness to face danger out of a commitment to a higher cause. And so we think of a soldier who faces the possibility of dying in battle and not because he places little value on his own life, but because he's committed to defending the life and the liberty of his people, of his country, and of his family. The soldier's courage allows him to face danger and possible death in the hope of gaining victory over the enemy, or at least of safeguarding the honor of his people and of himself. And the image of a soldier, a warrior, who battles for the good of his country is a good analogy for the struggle of Christians everywhere who face a hostile culture that ridicules the true faith and rejects the Christian belief and Christian love. These are things the world doesn't understand or appreciate and therefore uh, belittles. And so Christians must battle courageously to be faithful to Jesus Christ and to the people of Christ, his church. When they might be tempted, like the disciples were on the night of our Lord's Passion in the Garden of Gethsemane, to flee in every direction when Christ's enemies show up in force. So that's when we need courage, like the courage of Saints Daniel and his companion martyrs. Courage born of a heart filled with Christian charity. And that's, that's the other component, then, of real martyrdom, 
is that love for Christ. And that love then that identifies with Christ's desire to save every soul, even the soul and the souls of our persecutors and the persecutors of Christ. Those are the souls that Jesus himself wishes to save from eternal death. Saints Daniel and his companion martyrs, there were six of them, didn't throw their lives away for vain glory or as a foolhardy gamble to gain heaven. Their motive, rather, was charity, to proclaim out of faith in Jesus and love for him that those Mohammedans, the Saracens, to whom they openly preached, that they too could be saved, but only in Jesus Christ. And this is then the component of faith that's also integral to Christian martyrdom. Saints Daniel and companions knew with conviction of faith that only in Christ could those who were threatening them, could, could they be saved too. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, let's first pray for charity, a great love for Jesus, which comes from the knowledge of his great love for us and of his great fidelity to our Father in heaven and to his mission as Savior of the world. He is the only Savior. And then as our love for Jesus increases, let us pray for courage to face the hostility of the Antichrist who is growing stronger every day in this world. Let us be steadfast then in the Lord, in our commitment to confess the faith and to proclaim the truth of salvation in Christ alone. Let us ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Martyrs, Queen of Apostles, and Saints Daniel and Companion Martyrs and all the martyrs of the Church to pray for us in this time of great need for courage to proclaim the truth of the salvation in Christ alone. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Christ will be.